Good morning. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. It's a raining in your house. Yes, it's raining in Santa Tecla. Yeah, it was raining. It was raining pretty hard here too. Maybe like for 20 minutes. There's Claudia, Marcela, Anna. Hello, Jose. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How is La Palma in this moment? Is it, it's not hot, correct? No, it's uh, just rainy, just a rainy day. But La, La Palma normally is not hot, correct? It's correct. Okay, let me see. What about you, Suma? Where where you are from? You are from Sun Sun Apopa. Okay, it's a raining. <laughs> okay, it's, it's a raining car. It is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, it was raining hard here in San Salvador too. Okay, I see more people are joining the class now. Good. Yeah, no, it's a lot of people. There's Allison. What's up, Allison? How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm good. All right. There's Claudia. Francisco Peña. All right. Hi, Claudia. How are you? Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I am sleepy. Really sleepy. I couldn't sleep last night. Why? I don't Just know why. One of those days. Uh huh. Exactly. For so no reason. I, I have been very sleepy all day long. Yeah, I hate. And you know, and what is that saying that que no se puede reco recobrar el sueño perdido? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no se puede reponer. Mm -hmm. It's true. Hello, Mercy. How are you? Hi. Good. Right now I'm um, on my shift. <laughs> You're on your shift? Yeah. Where do you work? Uh, on a call center. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but right now I'm working from home. So they don't know. <laughs> yeah, they know. Uh, I have permission previously to take this class on my lunch, but right now they moved my my lunch hour, so I uh, <laughs> I'm taking. On my chip. Um, and which call center do you work? At Web Help. Web Help. That used to be one link, correct? Yeah, it is one link in the uh, that is like the patronal name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's still one link. The, okay. Yeah, but the name for for them like to present they themselves it is web help. okay and so you work the night shift what time from what time do you work from 12 until 10 p.m oh, okay from 12 to 10 p.m oh, yeah okay. it's because i have two days off yeah and um, I have a question. Do you have children? No. Oh, okay. I, that's good. You know, I have turned down so many 
good opportunities, like very good opportunities, very well paid jobs. Do you understand what the term turn down is? No. Turn down is like um, do not accept. Let's just add a turn down. Mm -hmm. I have turned down many, many jobs. I mean, not many, many, but very, very, very good job opportunities for, um, but it's night it's, shift. It's like to decline. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> yes, and um, yeah, because it, it was something similar, like from 1 p.m. to 1 uh, to like 12, <clears throat> but then, you know, if I if I had accepted, I would never see my son. Because yeah. in the morning, in the morning he studies in kindergarten. So imagine when he is getting off kindergarten, I am going to work. I don't know. But no, I, I prefer to see my son. Yeah, right. that's true. <laughs> that's no, but that's, true. <laughs> but that's good for you. That's why I asked you if you had children and you said no. Good for you. Take it. Yeah, I don't have. <clears throat> but I like my work. Well, right now I don't take calls. I'm on a back office position. <clears throat> you are back office? Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Class, do you understand what back office is? No. Okay, good. Um, think, okay, try to analyze the name back office. When you is it, like you are work not... from home? Okay. When you um, not contact direct to the client? Yes, exactly. The customer. Exactly. So when you go to an office, who do you speak with? The people who are there, correct? The people, maybe the reception, maybe, well, the people who are there. So, they, but there's always people in the back of the office. And those people have no contact with the customer. So that's why it's called back office. Which is very cool. It's relaxing. Sometimes. Because you, yeah, deal, sometimes. you deal with the client, not with the customer, correct? Well, in my case, <clears throat> I, this is a travel agency, so I received okay. the requests that the customer sends through our website or by phone call. Uh, the, the level one, the, the, the people who answer the calls, they send the request to us. So okay. if there is something that I, like, for example, if the customer wants a voluntary change, and the price increase, I have to call the customer and tell Mr. Customer this price has increased. Uh, do you agree or not? Um, or I have to call the airlines. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right, okay. All right, welcome class. Thank you very much everybody who is in class today. And uh, let's start. So yesterday we we're doing kind of a clause, correct? Do you remember what is a clause? What are the two important elements that a clause has? I'm sorry? A group of words that had a subject, mm -hmm. uh, a bear, uh, um, W-H-Y. Yeah, it has a subject and a verb, good. That's basically a clause, but um, yeah, good. Class, can you excuse me 30 seconds? I will be back, hold on, please.
Me volví a llamar hoy tarde. Me volví a llamar hoy, hoy, hoy después. No. Que si me volví a llamar hoy, hoy. Ah, vaya, vaya. Thank you, I'm back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I had an accident in my house today. What happened? My um, one water pipe exploded. It exploded yeah. and um what did you do? The you know I had you know it's easy to fix, but I did not have the right tools because I did not have the pegamento PVC. You know, so I I, I had to put a I um a different glue. So I put glue and it was raining very hard, so I was getting wet. And when I turned it on again. The same thing. So I had to go and ask people, you know, who had PVC glue, <laughs> PVC. But now, now I hope it's better now. All right. Okay, let me see here. Let's open the lesson. See, I'm opening. El Salvador is playing soccer in this moment. Oh, I have a question. Is somebody here following the Juegos Centroamericanos? No? Not really. But Thursday and Friday are the last days, correct? I don't know. What yes. The, the closure yes. the closure is Friday. Exactly. It's on Friday yes, and Friday. it's a holiday. Yes. That's a... I think that's the only good thing about this for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um is there going to be like a like a another another artist or something I don't hear anything about it Wow, the marshmallow yeah. thing the marshmallow was a a surprise no the international artist yes <laughs> yeah the clo so I imagine the closure is gonna be good. A Maybe me Metallica is going to be oh. the closer. Huh? Oh, That's yeah. That's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, I would go crazy watching Metallica. Sure, uh, I have something to say about the, the game. Yes. Uh, well, I um, I watch the, the, the game, but uh, not always. Uh, sometimes I uh, look for the football soccer uh, of the beach <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and uh, well uh, in La Plaza Merliot uh, our games about a uh, basketball too oh yeah but uh, something weird happened I think that uh, the Salvadorian we need uh, a little more of education and culture 
because when Mexico play uh, with El Salvador, uh, well, I don't know what happened. Uh, I don't I don't know what people hate that that country because always they say, hey, you're not a good uh, player, but uh, Mexican people at this time they had the the majority of the yeah. of the medals. Yeah. What happens is, yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, remember, there's always a big rival rivalry with El Salvador and Mexico for many reasons. For because, like, let's say in, in United States, after Mexico, Salvador's is the second biggest Latino community. Um, number two, Mexico, oh, they always say, like, they, they don't want to participate in any sports events in Central America because they want, they are considered higher. And maybe it's true. But you know what I what I tell my friends is that I think it's very stupid that we hate Mexicans because we are 50% gringos and 50% Mexicans. <laughs> we have like in your house, in your colonia, is there a taqueria? There's many taquerias. Right? <laughs> Vicente Fernandez, Ale Alejandro yes. Fernandez, <laughs> Grupo Firme, and all those groups come and then the stadiums get full. So we celebrate quinceañeras, we celebrate piñatas, we, we have mariachis, and all that is Mexican tradition. You know, so when, you know, so I don't think it's, it's a good idea to. <laughs> That's because we share the same roots, the yeah. same, almost same, like Maya and something like that. And also then this, the Spanish come here and you know what happened there. <laughs> yeah. But mariachis? Mariachis is something literally only Mexican. They invented that. And we have mariachis. We... We, oh, we drink tequila. We get drunk, we listen to tequila. We love Juan Gabriel. We love Marco Antonio Solis. <laughs> you know, but <clears throat> yeah, we have the same, we are Mayas. Okay, let me share my screen with you. Do, 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 do. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes, sir. All right, let's see. Yes, sir. Expressions with keep and stay. Here, let me share the sound. Hello, the following expressions will help you express your ideas better. Stay connected, stay awake, keep up with, keep in touch. Expressions with keep and stay. Keep or stay in touch. Keep things in perspective. Stay awake. Keep up with. Keep or stay out of trouble. Keep something up. Keep or stay in touch. Take turns answering these questions. Type your answers on our discussion box. Then talk to your classmates in class. When friends move away, do you keep or stay in touch? When you're stressed, can you keep things in perspective? After studying all night, how do you stay awake in class? Do you ask for help if it is hard to keep up with a class? Do you break the rules or do you keep or stay out of trouble? What can students do to keep their grades up? Is it important for all friends to keep or stay in touch? These questions. Type stay away. Okay, have you ever heard that expression kit? Un kit. I think it's even Spanish we say it. A kit. When you buy something, you know. Oh, he viene con su kit. 
Do you, have you heard that expression? Yes. Yes. That comes from keep in touch. Do you understand the expression keep in touch? Yes. Mm, yes. What is keep in yes. touch? Yes. Estar en contacto. Mm. Okay, good. Yes. Um, yeah. When you see somebody, hey, keep in touch. You know, when you see an old friend, like, hey, it was very good to see you. Keep in touch. It's like a famous saying, hey, no te perdas. That's sí, keep in no. touch, right? Y también es keep in touch es también como tener a la mano. Por eso se llama keep. For example, there's an emergency kit. Do you have an emergency kit in your home? Nope. Yes. No. Not really. I have, I like to have everything. And that's why today I was very angry when I had this accident in my house because I have all the tools. I, I sometimes I exaggerate. I put gloves, I put, you know, and I start fixing things. And I was very angry because I did not have PVC. <laughs> And he said, oh my gosh, this is something very important and why don't I have it? And now I remember that <laughs> I lent it to my father. Okay, one thing here, listen. Okay, we understand keep in touch, right? Keep in perspective. Dude, Excuse me? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Um, keep up. Do you understand keep up? No, no on my end. You don't watch keeping up with the Kardashians? Actually, that's an example that I was going to mention that I, I never understand what, what does it means. Keeping, keep up with the Kardashian. I, I, ha, I hear about that. I don't know if a series or I don't know what, what is, but, but yeah, I never under, understood what, what does it mean? Have you heard the expression, keep up the good work? Yeah. Okay, so imagine, hey, Dennis, very good job. Keep up the good work. What do you think that means? So that means that continue what you are doing. Exactly. So that's good. Mm -hmm. It's to continue. So that's the same if you say keep up with. Mm -hmm. Estar, ajá, uh -huh, como estar al día. Mantenerte al día. Yes. Ah, so, so that means that mantenerte al día con las Kardashians. So. Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> and they really sell that shit. So yeah. I, I can't understand. Uh, <laughs> you know, I mean... You know, I was looking at Bad Bunny, man. I was thinking, tocamos fondo ya with Bad Bunny. You know, like, can there be something <laughs> any worse? And I, and I was listening to Peso Pluma yesterday. <laughs> like, oh my God. And you know what? Uh, now uh, it's supposed that Bad Bunny is dating a uh, Kardashian. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's but you know what? Work. I but you know what? I think that's marketing. Yeah, sure. Because but from the Kardashians using Bad Bunny. No, vice versa. Because imagine, uh, I think, right? Uh, Bad Bunny, uh, Bad, ba what? Bad Bunny is extremely famous in Latin America. Correct? No, now, around the world, it was. Uh, it was uh, last year. He was the most famous person in the world. Yes. But I think, but he wants more, more. Now I think he wants to explore the um, American ground. Because yes, he's famous in the United States, but he's not like Jay-Z famous or Beyonce famous, you know? I think he wants that, that famous now. So what do you do? You go and you date Kendall, Kendall 
¿cómo se llama? Jenner. And you go to Laker games because every celebrity goes to Laker games. Or también uh, maybe Kendall Jenner wants to enter in the Latin community. So it's a good option to date Bad Bunny. Oh, the, the, uh, what I thought the, is that uh, Kardashian wants to maintain their populari popularity. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. But anyway, so that's what Keep Up is. But one thing I want to tell you is when you see, let me see, hold on, let me open a, a different page. Give me one second, please. Okay, I'm here. Let me share. Do you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, so yes. we saw keep up. Keep up. If you notice, keep is a verb and up is a preposition, correct? Correct? Yep. Now, let me explain one thing to you. These are called phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs. Every time you see a verb, and a preposition, it's a phrasal verb. Okay? Now, let me explain something to you. This does not exist in Spanish. This does not exist in Spanish. Yes? Yo sé que no hay que traducir, que le dicen es malo traducir, bla, 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 pero es para, siempre lo vamos a hacer. Pero si traducen esto, no va a tener nada de sentido. Le puedo dar un ejemplo. Call back. What is call back? Uh, like, eh, llamar de regreso. Okay. What is call off? Colgar. Ah, mucha gente pensaría eso. <laughs> Good. No, it's not. Do you know what call off is? No. Call, call off is cancel. Okay, so let me explain one, one thing to you. Okay, so we understand what is a phrasal verb, right? Like here. We must keep up, keep on, yes? So whenever you see a phrasal verb, it's because there's a verb and a preposition. Pero, el verbo significa una cosa, la preposición otra, pero los dos juntos es algo totalmente diferente. Okay? So remember that. And that's why this does not exist in Spanish. This is very, very, as a certain point, caliche. Yes. So um, we have break down. When someone loses self control, he broke down. When somebody goes crazy, fall apart, look forward to, take over, end up. Bump, call up. You see, todos estos son phrasal verbs. Look. Hang on, get over, etc., etc. Pero hoy les quiero enseñar el famoso get. Today we're going to study get. Yeah, let me see. Let me open what do you see in your screen right now? We are still watching the phrasal verbs. Okay.
What is get? Uh, obtain something. Okay. Can you give me an example? Mm, get a uh, pencil. Get the pencil. What else? Oh, get money. Okay. What about get married? Mm, yeah, it's like uh, tornarse también. <laughs> Get sick. Okay. Many people get confused con get, porque dice, es que get me confunde, porque get es, o sea, es casarse, es agarrar, es esto, esto, bla, 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 bla. Ok, let me explain to you. ¿Qué tienen en común married? Sick. Drunk. Grammatically, what are they? Well, they're birth. No, married and sick is not a verb. Nady? Adjectives. Exactly, adjectives. These are adjectives. And these are no. Nouns. Nouns. Hold on. Okay, so look. Very simple. When you say get and an adjective, es un cambio de estado. So listen, if... Um, ¿Quién me dijo ayer que era soltera? Claudia Marcela, you're single. I remember. Yes? Yes. Do you have a boyfriend? No. Oh, okay. La otra Claudia, I remember. Where's the other Claudia? She's not here. Okay. Is somebody single here? Who is not married? Me. Me. Oh, yes, Jose. I'm sorry. Uh, Jose, but do you have a girlfriend now? No. Okay. So, okay, entonces, como vamos a pretender here. Mm -hmm. Is it okay if I pretend that Jose and Claudia are boyfriend and girlfriend? It's okay with you, Claudia? Yeah, in, no problem. In, in the class, it's just to pretend. Is that okay with you, Jose? It's okay. Okay, so imagine your boyfriend, girlfriend, right? Technic, oh, sorry, you're not married, so you're single. So now imagine Jose proposes to Claudia and Claudia says yes. So now Jose and Claudia are going to get married. Get married. What is the change right there? From single to to married to married exactly the state the state yes Boris do you drink beer once in a while or tequila are you a liquor man no no not much okay good Boris what happens if you Tonight, what happens if you drink 10 beers? 
I got drunk. I get drunk. Yeah. Yes, and you get in yeah. trouble with your wife. Of course. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> get drunk. Cambio de estado. What is this change of state? Sober to drunk. Yes, Nady, Nady, what happens? Or do you, with how many pupusas do you get full? Repeat, please, teacher. With how many pupusas do you get full? Um, yes. Okay. Um, um, Loroco and, and cheese. Okay, but listen to my question. With how many pupusas do you get full? Full. Um, three. Okay, so tell me, I get full with three pupusas. Yes. Please repeat. I, I get four, three pupusas. Okay, I get full. I get four. With three pupusas. With three pupusas. Good. ¿Qué me dijo, Nady? Um, que yo quedo eh, llena con tres exactly. pupusas. Thank you, yes. Mm -hmm. So that is get. Cuando uno usa get, con un adjetivo es un cambio de estado. Teacher. Yes. Uh, well, that is something that I am learning now uh, because, well, actually now I understand better the way that get works. Yes. Uh, but actually, before to understand this, I was starting to change the way that I used to to talk, and I didn't use get. Sometimes I used to say I am full, for example. Oh, yeah. Is that you okay if that. I use both? Yes. Okay. No, because if, if I say I am full, then there's no change of state. No can be the style, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you know, many, many people always always think that get is very difficult. You know, oh man, it's better to get it bien difícil significa miles de cosas. No, it's two things. No, and actually it's very used. So it, has it a, is, you use get yeah. every everything, for everything. Exactly. Oh, there's Claudia. Claudia Maria. Hi. Hi. Um, you're going to get married with your boyfriend soon, no? Yeah. When? Uh, soon, soon in six months. Oh, nice. <laughs> is is your boyfriend Buddha too? Buddhist? No, he is. He, oh, okay. Oh. I'm asking because I, I I was wondering about the reception. How is the reception going to be? Ah, uh, we don't have the details yet. Oh, okay. Because of his family and almost everyone is from a different religion. But I'm okay. You're like, whatever. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like. Okay. I don't Good. Mind. All right. Jovito. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, Ovito. What happens when you see all these mareros getting arrested? Do you get happy? Do you get sad? Do you get angry? Y mareros. You know, El Salvador in this moment is in an exception state. Is a place for good? 
Excuse me? I don't I, I don't know Maderos. <gasps> are you ser are you serious? Viejo Lin El Chucky. No. <laughs> I don't remember. I'm sorry, Jovito, you live in El Salvador, correct? Yes. <laughs> and you don't know what a marero is? I... MS, no MS 18. Ah, okay. Is uh, just marero. Well, I mean, it's, because... it's different. For me, it's new world. Really? What yes. what what do you call them? Mm. These common pandillas. Really? Nunca he escuchado que les digan mareros. No. Pandillas. Oh. Por eso era, era, okay. what, era part, que... what part of El Salvador do you live in? Just a curiosity. <laughs> I, I'm curious. O tal vez en inglés, en la forma que no, la the thing... is no familiar with me. The thing is, in, in English, uh, gast... gangsters, they're, they're gangsters. Is the, gangster is the other nivel. Yes, pero... Um... Is the other... But hearing us about it, you know, they're mareros. Mareros. Uh -huh. Promise me. is slow level. Promise me that you have never heard this. Really? En serio? Really? Creo que fue la traducción en inglés y la cual no me era familiar. Pero sí, por publicitarios está inundado. Mareros. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, when there's a big, a big, a big thing happening in Salvador that if you are a gangster or a marero, you get arrested. And, and you see them on TV, you see them crying, oh, I'm sorry. When you see that, do you get sad? Do you get happy? Do you get angry? Mm, for a sin, angry. I am angry. You get angry. Sí, angry for the story. The story is different. I'm sorry, I don't understand what, what you're trying to tell. So you get angry, you, okay? You, you get angry when, when the Mareros get arrested. Yes. Okay. So for you, they should not be arrested. I excuse me, excuse me. I happy. I happy for a rest. Okay, so I get happy. See, I get happy. Okay, for good. The security. Of course, yeah. No, but you know, some people get angry. So no, I just want to be clear. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, oh, okay, mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Okay. All the familiar. <laughs> yeah, only the family members. <laughs> only the family members get, get angry. The people that used to get maintained, yeah, from them, the girlfriends. From... Oh yeah, how do they say the the highness? The highness. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, um, I watched that video. Remember that video when 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 they were being moved to the secot. Yeah. I got sad. They don't last him. Just three seconds. Only three seconds. Y después se me pasó. Like, yeah. Suffer, you you animals. No, no animals. Animals are good. <laughs> no. Okay, but so you understand now the difference between get and an adjective, correct? Yes. Uh Hey, Dennis, you're married, correct? Yes, sir. What happens if your wife sees you talking to a beautiful girl? Oh, she's going to get 
really angry and maybe she's gonna she's gonna hit me <laughs> i i guess <laughs> she gets angry yeah and any I, I, I think that that's gonna happen to any woman any woman i guess i i i haven't heard about a woman that is not gonna get angry maybe it happens when girls doesn't love the guy they are not good with the guy but if they see the their husband they get angry maybe if they know that he's talking with someone else so yeah she's gonna get angry well you know it depends i think it depends on the communication you have with your with your spouse because um for example in my case i used to work in this place where there were extremely extremely beautiful girls and um my wife when she was my girlfriend at the beginning maybe she did get jealous but then i i hate i really 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 extremely hate jealous people and um i am not jealous at all so and then she understood but i mean i don't give her reasons to be jealous but she understands that sometimes i work with beautiful girls but you know, and and she's um, um, you know she has to work sometimes with handsome men. So what can I do? Mm -hmm. I think it's communication important. No, no, no. But but actually, I was thinking on a different context. So I, uh, but but yeah, sometimes if if that is not the case, that it is obviously that there is something like uh, how do you say infidelidad? infidelity oh yes infidelity if that is obviously oh yeah in that case uh the spouse is gonna get angry faster and of course uh, and a lot of different things that sometimes in the moment we can't imagine but if the context is different and maybe you are greeting mm -hmm. uh, a colleague or something like that so maybe she's gonna She's gonna ask. I need an explanation or something like that. What happened there? But, okay. But yeah, so it's different if that's another context, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Alejandra, Elizabeth, can yes. you tell can you tell me something that gets you angry? Mm. But like like gets you angry? I see, like boom. Maybe uh, when I have a date, I don't know, with a, a friend and she doesn't uh, get to the place <laughs> and I wait for her a long time. And she never shows up? He never shows up. <laughs> yes. and, and no call or nothing? No. Oh, yeah. Or maybe, I don't know, a message or a WhatsApp. Exactly. <laughs> or something like that. Exactly. Oh, yeah, that gets, that gets, I think that gets anybody angry. Yes. <laughs> okay. What about you, Jose Isaias? What gets you angry? Well, in my case, I get angry when my brother uses my video games. <laughs> when your brother uses your video games? Yes. Okay, good. What about um, Mercy? What gets you happy? Like really happy? Happy. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Uh, maybe when I eat something that I really like. That's true, you know, like when you eat chocolate. Chocolate, no, but I like um, <clears throat> Mexican food a lot. Mm. You know what? I like Mexican food, but I don't eat it very frequent. <laughs> because there's really? one... I, I love tacos. I mean, really, tacos. 
But you know one thing I don't like about tacos? That the tacos, you have to finish them in five minutes. <laughs> because if the tortilla gets cold, then the tacos aren't good anymore. Yeah, that's that, true. That is the only <laughs> thing, that is the only thing I don't like about that's why before I got married, cuando salían citas, mm -hmm. I never went to a Mexican restaurant because if you order tacos and like in 10 minutes, bueno, terminamos, you know. It's not like pupusas, you know. <laughs> they serve your pupusas hot. It's like, <laughs> hot. and you wait like five minutes and it's still hot, you know. But only tacos, but I think the rest of the food, but, but I love tacos inside that. When I make tacos, I make them in my house. They're good. All right. Allison, what gets you sick? Me? Yes. Is there, is there like Real a food? Sick or like I don't support. No, for example, today, today I had lunch and I, and I drank horchata and I love horchata, but I think that horchata had milk, and that and milk gets me sick because I am lactose intolerant. Mm, well, I have the allergies, so uh -huh. I get sick uh, with uh, powder. It's correct to say powder to polvo. Powder. Powder. Uh huh. And so some... Oh wait 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 polvo. Yes. It's dust. Dust. Yeah. Uh, polvo powder powder is for polvo. <laughs> yes. But uh, I think I know. <laughs> no powder the mistake like baby powder. Mm. Okay. Uh yeah, I get sick with with dust, dust. Oh, okay. You get sick with the okay, good. What about you, Claudia Marcela? What gets you angry? When I'm getting on, uh, on the bus and suddenly the driver turn on the music and it's reggaeton. I really hate reggaeton. <laughs> that makes me very angry. Yes, it's like, but you know, I, 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 sometimes you go to any store and then they have like a ton on. Have you noticed? Store? Like stores. In cualquier tienda, they have like a ton on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really like that because, well, I always try to avoid that places because, or maybe if I had my headache, I just, Use my earphones, you, earphones. You know, and, and I wrote to them. I sent them an email. And on Facebook, también les escribí, nunca hacen caso. Do you know that uh, Las Ruedas in, 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 in Metro Centro, what are they called? Metro Centro San Salvador, right? Yeah, Wonder World, or Play World, oh, something like yeah. that. Playland Park. Play, no, it's not Playland Park. It's not Playland Park. It, no. Well, but th there's like in the parking, there, there's like well, rides. And they are all for children. I frequently go there for my son, you know, for a gusanito. And every time you go, they have reggaeton on, either vulgar. You know, like, you know, like, hagamos el amor en el teléfono, you know, te quiero ver desnuda, saborearte. And I'm looking, it's like, wow, there are little children here. Little girls. <laughs> y lo más triste es que veo papás que no les importa, como like, ah. You know, my son, my son is six. But I imagine, I don't have a daughter, but imagine if I have a daughter and she's 10, and she's listening to that, I would get angry. So I frequently write to them, hey, 
hay papás, you know, that we go there for the children, you know, y creo que no hay, you know, I tell them like, hay papás que no nos gusta oír que quieren tener sexo en el teléfono con nuestros hijos de 13 años, you know, 6, 8. But they don't care. Every time you go, they have like a ton, full volume. Yeah, I really, I get angry. I hate that. <laughs> All right, let me see. Who else, who else has not? Lisette Castillo, hi. Lisette, are you there? No, teacher. Hi, Lisa. So tell me, Lisa, what gets you angry? Hola. Hello. Hi. Hello. Yes, I hear you. Okay, maybe we have uh, a... Wait for people on time. People on time. Oh, when people are late. Yes, I'm punctual. Yes, I'm punctual. No, you know what I hate? I hate or I get angry when people lie. Like for example, if yeah. I am if I am going to meet somebody, if I am going to meet somebody at eight in the morning, okay. I know that sometimes there are there there are things that you know you can't control the traffic an accident but call exactly. and then, and you call that person hi aquí estoy ya mira fíjese que hay un boy en camino porque hay un gran traffic and you know that's a lie it's a lie because ya hubieran llamado desde antes well what about you uh what gets uh, Sulma? Sulma, Beatriz, are you there? Okay, so listen, yeah. class. Oh. Oh, Sulma, so what gets you angry? Um, for example, this makes me angry that they leave the club to away, or oh, that my husband does fine. The thing and the thing in the old house. I'm sorry. What it gets you angry when? Um, when the day leave the clothes throw away. When they leave the clothes anywhere. Anywhere. Yeah. Oh, and, and not thin. The thing is our house. Mm. Y que no encuentra las cosas en su propia casa. Oh, yeah. ¿Dónde está tal cosa? Mm. Do, you, está do, you, do you wash the clothes for your husband? Excuse me? Do you wash your husband's clothes? Yes. No, don't wash yes. it. No. Él no. No, you, you stop. Don't do it anymore. Ya va a ver que he will, he will, he will pay attention. Okay, so class, so, so you do, you, you do understand now the difference when, when you say get in an adjective, right? Okay, entonces lo, lo que quiero que sepan hoy de la, esta clase es que de esto, los verbos fraseales, vuelvo y repito, cuando ustedes vean un verbo y después del verbo va una preposición, no, a veces no tiene nada que ver con el verbo. Y se llaman verbos fraseales, que hasta cierto punto son, yo les digo expresiones idiomáticas, porque, eh, por ejemplo, cuando les dije call off, Uno dice call es llamar, off es apagar, entonces quizás es colgar. Y no, call off es cancel. Cancelar. Claudia María, imagine, imagine. Uh -huh. Imagine uh -huh. you see your boyfriend's 
imagine you see your boyfriend's cell phone and you see a WhatsApp conversation. Hola, nene, ya se durmió. Está con ella aún. You know. Y, I don't know, you, you see something very suspicious. Will you call off the wedding? Maybe not immediately. immediately. You will investigate first, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Pero it says call off is cancelar. You know, hey, we have a reservation in a hotel. Oh man, it's raining very hard. Call the hotel and call it off and call off. Call off the reservation, call off the party, call off the reunion. Okay? So call off is a verb and a preposition. Okay? So phrasal verbs. Voy a ver si les puedo buscar un listado. Sure. Sure. Yes. Yes. I heard call off uh, one uh, when someone said uh, call off to eat jam fat. Call off to eat? Junk food. Junk food. Oh, call off the junk food. Uh-huh, cancel. Ajá, como ya deja la, la comida chatara. Mm -hmm. Call off the junk food. Yes. Ok. O nunca les ha pasado que están pidiendo como pollo campero o algo así. Y de repente aparece alguien con comida. Hey, hey, call off, call, call off, call off. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know what? Uh, I, I want to call off my my my... I want to call off my order. That says, oh, mire, quiero cancelar mi orden. Okay. All right, class. Thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you Bye. tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you, teacher. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.